Alright, we all back. Uh, last time we did the Synergy training, and uh, we did both versions. I, I didn't show the, the challenge version, but um, pretty much it's the same, but you had to do it quicker, so there's not really a point to actually showing it. Alright, Goblin appeared. Okay. I, I guess it's just like a a mini version of, I don't know. Why I don't know why I'm trying to <laughs> figure out the anatomy of these goblins, because it it don't matter. Um Now We got some rats. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, we got... But we are gonna try to get, at least, hopefully, the, uh... Skills mastered. At least that's the idea. And pretty much, with the skills, it's just you have to use the weapon enough, so it's fine. Okay, this is the lumber yard. And this is where we have to go. There we go. There's a Jupiter Gen just hanging out. But as we can see that, uh, we did see that, hey, well, we can use, uh, the little sp Are you serious? Alright. Uh, we can see that, uh, we can use wind, uh, synergy to take care of that. We'll use them as platforms. Be honest, I don't remember. Can I do it while standing on it? I can, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, that's not really gonna change anything. So we'll have to figure out where to go with this. All right, Tyrell got a level up there. Uh, if I go this way, that just leads to all of that. And honestly, I would much rather try to get that treasure chest. Well, double shot does a, basically the same damage as Matthew's just normal attack. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. okay. All right. Uh, da, da, da. I guess what I could do is we'll set this. I'm trying to use the ability on some of these. Oh yeah, because you kind of ride that. Fire up a good gun, dial of the kid in gear. Just don't fry your bike and while you extra ride one. Okay. Well, Carver is the leader of the lumberjack camp. No, well, the leader of the lumberjack camp is known as Carver. Though, as old as an old Vale refugee, it is unknown whether he's always been called that or he just loves his job. He never shies away from a task at hand, which seems to worry his men. Okay. Well, with this, you just have to use fire, ball, and the gondola actually works.
And we got a mint. So the mints in this are permanent upgrades. Where did it go? There it is. Raise agility permanently. Now you can use this on whoever you want. I, as you can see, she has the most agility, which means when she fights, she's always going first, pretty much. Tyrell's at the bottom. Matthew's kind of somewhere in the middle. I, again, you can choose to use these on whoever you want. I'm gonna use probably the majority of these permanent upgrades on Matthew because he's always gonna be in our party no matter what. So, I. And that was a five point increase too. So that was pretty good. Well, let's just heal her up a little bit. Oh, well, that, that all right, goblins. I, I, I'm just saying. Oh, why in the world are you doing that? I'm trying to remember. I, I think spin attack hits multiple enemies. I don't remember. I know there's some sword skills that hit multiple enemies, and I think spin attack is one of them. I might be wrong on that. Again, I... <laughs> I've only played through the game just one time, so I'm not gonna remember everything. Double shot. You know, I wish you did that. I wish you did that while the drone bee was there. That way I could have actually figured out whether or not I was correct. Ugh. Unfortunately, I can't do anything about that because, well, obvious reasons. So we're going to have to worry about going about it the convoluted way. You have to push that down push this back up, and I believe push this across, and what you get is it going all the way down there, and there's a point to that, as we want to actually climb down, actually, is there anything going on here? Watch the wind blossoms whirl up when a wind hits. So, anyone felt a good breeze lately? Well, I don't have to worry about that. And as you can see, there is... There is a way to get across to that treasure chest. We just have to do some flower hopping. And we get Themis's axe. All right. Uh, axes are something that Matthew and Tyrell can actually use. She can't use them. So, honestly, again, we're giving the best equipment to Matthew first, and then we'll kind of go from there. Alright. But... Should be able to get up there. Hmm. Oh, yeah. You have to get there by the gondola. 
I don't get there. Well, where's the gondola part? It's all the way in the middle there. Which, that does not help. You being in the middle does not help. I think you have to actually get over there and then use the fireball synergy to actually push it over. Can I actually get it from here? No. I actually have to be up a level. Alright. Fine. Fine game. Be like that. Alright. Double shot. Yep. Yeah. And got rid of you. Hang in there, son! Oh, I, I forgot. Dad, this thing's never gonna hold... Uh, isn't gonna hold me forever. Somebody, please, find me a wind adept! Alright, well, we gotta help him. Thanks for the lift. I would have been a goner without you. But Dad, what are you gonna do? I'll meet you back in Bilbin somehow. What should I tell Mom? She'll be worried sick. Just tell her I'm finding some other way back. I'll be fine. Okay, I'll roam home as fast as I can and let her know. You do that. You'll make it home through the valley plenty. Hey, you'll make it home through the valley in plenty of time before dark. Okay, Dad. See you back in Bilbin. Thanks again, kind stranger. You don't see true her heroism very often these days. You. Wouldn't happen to be Matthew, would you? Yeah. We met an old man a short while ago who asked if we had seen a party of young adventurers. Uh, he asked me to give you a message. With the bridge out, you'll need to cross the Goma Mountains a different way. Well, these are uh, a mountain range that divides uh, the Vale refugees from the rest of Angara. Isaac's cabin is on a plateau that is part of the new highlands raised raised up by the Golden Sun. He's scouting an alternate route and wants you to meet him there in the caves below some uh, below some in the caves below some nearby. Okay, sorry, my brain was like, wait, what? <laughs> Oh, boy. He wanted me to point you in the direction of the ruins down that path just to the south. At least, I think that's what the old man said. Oh, jeez. Okay. Goodbye. Maybe I'll see you out east in Bilbin someday. I wish we had more nice people like you there. Oh, well, more nice people there like you. Oh, I'm sure. Well, we're gonna have to maybe somehow deal with that. What are we gonna do? We can't fix the bridge. It's a total disaster. I thought we made the bridge plenty strong, but that synergy vortex tore it apart. Well, there's Carver. Look who's here. It's Isaac's son. Come hunting vortexes like your dad Matthew. Sorry, he was asking a question. This vortex is the worst I've seen in a long time. It's torn my camp apart. Carver, this one's the worst I've ever seen. Isaac told you all about these synergy vortexes, right? Yep. What? 
You've seen another huge one near Tanglewood? These vicious suckers are pretty rare. I've never seen one bigger than an axe, but I hear you got a huge huge ones up around Tanglewood. Maybe they're following these guys? Dude, they brought this one here! You trying to pick a fight? Don't be stupid! Oh, settle down, everyone. No one brings the vortexes. They pop up every ten years. I guess I do remember this happening ten years ago, but I was a kid then! Yes, indeed. And their parents were trying to figure out why this keeps happening. And if they're getting this big again, then something worse is brewing near Mount Alf. So vortexes were plaguing the whole world then? Those holes chug down synergy, so they must be wreaking havoc in the world's balance of elemental energy. So it's coming back? Not necessarily. The morning moon won't emerge if this outbreak of vortexes can't be stopped. Or well, can be stopped. Well, who can stop even one of these th those things? Hopefully, cr that old alchemist Craden is looking into it. He passed through here earlier. Craden, did you say? Well, we're supposed to meet Craden here. Were you the ones Craden was meeting with? Because he... Hold on. What's happening now? Um, I feel queasy. We've seen that before. Uh, it shrank? Hey, where are you going? Trying to figure out a way past the vortex to the other side? We have to check the rest of the camp. Maybe the gondolas can get past it. Well then, hop to it, men. No vortex is going to get the best of me. I'm not so sure about this gondola. What do you think? Any hope for this old thing? I think this gondola is on its last legs. Are you sure? Well, I think we're sure now. <laughs> well, <laughs> I didn't realize I was going to say his lines. All right. Good thing that didn't happen while riding it. How about this one, then? Not sure. Same thing could happen, for all I know. Not sure? What kind of assessment is that? It's shaky. I doubt it'll support anyone's weight for long. That bad, huh? It might hold together, but just barely. Barely. That's better than nothing. Hang on, Carver. You're not actually going to ride it, are you? With a little elbow grease and some synergy. Not another one of your crazy schemes, Carver. And you call yourself a lumberjack? Come on, show some gumption. Don't chance it. That thing's too rickety. I'll need a lot of speed. It'll start falling to pieces right after I start riding it. As soon as I get on you, the two of you use grip synergy at the same time to give a good yank. <laughs> grip synergy. This is an earth-based synergy that can grasp far away objects and bring them close. It can also carry the user across some gaps. Hmm, pretty clever. But what if that doesn't do the trick? It will. Grip the machine with everything you've got. Uh, but do you know that it will finish this gondola off, right? 
What other choice do I have? I need to get over there and see if anyone's been hurt by the vortex. I know, but it's too reckless. Are you two gonna help or not? Fine, I'll help. Me too, but if this goes wrong, don't say I didn't warn you. Oh yeah, that's right. You actually have to use grip on that other, that gondola that's out there. Okay. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm in awe of Carver. Of course you would say that. I'm not surprised that you didn't volunteer for his crazy plan. Watch this, kids. This is about to get real interesting. All right, then. Get ready. Hurry it up. Grip it. And we just get a slideshow of this happening. And let her rip. <laughs> what is this? Like, what in the world? Woohoo! I can't believe it! Carver made it across! What's wrong now, Karis? Sure, he made it, but he, bro he broke the gondola completely. Well, I mean... I think that's a, a different issue other than the fact that he went flying. But all right, now we have to no way to get across. Uh, have no way to get to the only valley that cuts through the Goma Mountains. So once we find Kraden, how will we go to Morgul and get that feather? Were you guys planning to travel to Morgul to the other side of the mountains? Oh yeah. Well, you can still reach Bilbin. There's another route. The caves under the Kumpa ruins go under Goma Mountains, then branch out in two directions. The caves come up both near Bilbin and to the south, the bottom half of Angara. So, if you're eager to reach Morgul, I get, I would find those caves and use the north branch. There's just one problem. A gate bars the way to the ruins. You'll need a pass through. But you can get a pass from the Synergy training course at Patrick's place. Good thing you look like a smart bunch of adepts. You'll need to use your Synergy to make your way through the Compa ruins to the caves below. Alright. Well, we have several things we need to do here. So... Empty pot. Empty pot. Who are you? Jin are pure synergy, so I bet they get gulped down by synergy vortexes. My dad said he saw lots of Jin while working in the mountains, but I, I bet they all got sucked in. Well, we saw one outside. Uh, in the other area. Well, well we got an herb. <laughs> Gonna be checking all the things. At least at the beginning. Eventually, once we get uh, a different synergy, we'll not ever have to do that. Southeast of our camp is the mysterious Kumpa ruins. They were uncovered by the severe earth, uh, the severe quakes and storms caused by the golden sun. Though the ruins seem mostly carved from rock, it's said that they were once coated in pure gold. Um, nothing there. So, I think we're good. We do need to find a way... I think I actually have to go around the house like this to get this to work. Yeah. And move again. There we go. I mean, I, if anything, I am going... I think Fireball's too... Oh, no. It works. Okay.
I thought we might need grip, but no, we're good. Fireball. Hello, Mr. Drone. All right. Uh-oh. And sometimes Jin are not too happy that you find them, so... Yeah. <laughs> we have to fight uh, this... Jupiter Gen. Uh. Hmm. We'll do Flare Wall. 11. Not really much. And there is a small chance, but there is a chance that if uh, you aren't careful, they'll just tail it out so you want to make sure you can take care of it all right we got the Jupiter gen we now have gust this fleet spirit is first encountered in the Goma Highlands Highlands Road. Gust, Gust's tremendous speed always gets the drop on an enemy. But yes, uh, buff a foe perhaps twice with a gale force. So it is an attack. So uh, there is that. Which is very beneficial. Um, I don't remember. I think. Oops. I forgot what the point of that was. I think there's a point to actually doing that. I don't remember. I've just about had it. The only thing you can do these days is hide away from disasters. Do we survive the coming of the golden sun only to see the things like that appear outside? And well, you still can. This Saturday vault can't suck, could suck us all up. Oh no. Wait, did they actually? No. I, I mean, I could have unlocked the door while heading out. I don't remember. Exactly why you do that. But, regardless, Lucky Pepper, it can raise your luck permanently. And as you can see, luck is definitely not Matthew's strong suit. So we're going to raise it. Uh, but luck will determine whether or not you activate your weapon's ability. And your critical hits as well, so definitely make sure you can try to raise that. That's something I would say probably a little bit of everyone could uh, have, and you would probably be, be it probably be fine. All right, yes, we're going to only have critical strike with this, but it does help him out. Oh, yes. Definitely have the travel vest. <laughs> Wooden shield. Oh. Oh, I don't have... Oh. Okay. Um, Matthew can sell your sword. Oh, man. So we have a weapon we can grab at some point. Um, 
That's a decent increase to that, though. Alright, uh, how much for her bow? 225? Should be enough. Yep. Just barely, but it's enough. Oh, I don't, I don't, I definitely don't have enough money for that. Alright. But yeah, as you saw, if you see any of the shops that have the three dots like this, that means they sell everything. So, it's always good to have. And we have our little diviner guy down there. Uh, down in the basement here. Oh, we got a sleep box. Okay, so we can sell that if we need. I'll, I'll hang on to it for now. Hey, can I? Can I please? Is it too far away? I don't see how. There we go, jeez. There are powerful rapids at the bottom of the chasm. Don't fall in or you'll be dragged under. Well, if we head down here, though, you can see that there's another Jin. But this time it's a Mercury one. And he's happy to join. All right, we now have Chill. The spirit of intense cold is found at Carver's camp. Chill's attack renders enemies vulnerable, uh, enemies brittle and vulnerable. Now, because Chill is hanging out, uh, it does change his abilities a little bit. So, We're actually going to do something different. Um, she loses her heal, but she gains a little bit more. Uh, blast, cure poison. Uh, we'll, we'll just set him or put him on standby for the moment. Sometimes you, it'd be it's interesting to actually have combinations, but sometimes they're just not helpful, and they're better offset or put on standby. The bridge out, no one can get it across the valley. Get to the valley that crosses the Goma Mountains. But I've heard that adepts can take another path that goes under the mountains. How frightening! All right. Well, we're over here now. And this is, well, I was going to say something before this happened. It's a Wolf King Cub. Um, I think we're going to have to heal here. Because <laughs> that was pretty rough. How do you like fire? Well, they don't like it at all, so there you go. Alright, Matthew got another level. Definitely good. Also, luck is a, a, a stat that does not increase during level ups, so if you do want uh, luck, you're gonna have to find those lucky peppers. Oh, bam. It kind of looks like a dejected crowbat, to be honest. I just... I, uh, looking at it, it has the same color scheme as crowbat, and it just makes me think of that. Alright, she learns plasma! Nice. Oh, drone D and wolf king cub.
and not too bad. I will just do a quick fresh breeze because everyone's a little bit badly hurt. Trying to get that, um, ability with the axe rays. Uh, the reason why I'm kind of running through the forest here, it, at least in previous games, I forget about this one. Uh, there's a Jin on the, the world map, and you can find them by... Uh, running around in some of the areas that kind of look suspicious. Usually they're out of the way areas. But I doubt that there's another one just right here after we've gotten two, over, uh, two other Jin just in this uh, episode alone. So, I don't know. Uh, speaking of... <laughs> Okay. Alright, we are going to use Plasma. And I'm actually going to have him use Forge. Oh, well. That... That was really easy. Okay. Oh, me. Sorry about that. I, I didn't even think that was going to happen. All right. We got fever. The spirit of dreams and hallucinations found by the Kompa gate. Fever's power overheats the foe's brain, causing delusional thinking. Now, this is actually what normally uh, Jin of the Mars nature are instead of forges. So, there is that. And usually in an area, if you've gotten a Jin, you don't have to worry about it. I, It's already... Uh, You're free to kind of just be at ease to go on to the next area without missing another one. All right. By my creaking bones, do I hear visitors. Who's ringing my bell? What business do you have at my gate? Could you please open up? I need to get through. Show me your gate card, then I'll open up for you. Okay, hang on just a sec. Go on through. Thank you. Good luck on your travels. And the gate is raised. Now, if we didn't have a gate card, we couldn't go through. But we do have one because we went through the Synergy training camp, so... We are good to go. Also, there's another gen here. Oh my goodness. I forgot how willy-nilly they're willing to give you a bunch of gen at the beginning. Um, I gotta find a way to get up to it, though. Oh, I see it on the map. All right. This is the gate that leads to the Compa Ruins. Do you want to pass through? Yes. 
You've got the card, so I'll open up. I don't know why they make you watch this cutscene again. But at least it's quicker. Alright, now we never have to worry about that again. But... As we do this... He understandably hides. But he's happy to join. All right, we got flower. This flower spirit is found by the gates of the Compa Ruins. Flower's scent is has a refreshing healing effect. Yeah, so he is a free party heal. Well, I say free, but it's his gen ability. Well, if you want, you can actually come inside. Oh, uh, well. We can look through. I don't think there's anything in these. Oh, no. We got an antidote. So, there's that. But, we ain't gonna bother him. He's taking a nap. So, we're on our way again. Pretty, pretty simple. Ah! Uh, well, there's a Wolf King Cub. Stone Justice. Alright, well... There's... Then? I think that's, uh... I can't remember if that's actually a place where... Uh, I'm trying to think. I if we get there from the cave we're going to, or we have to find another way to get to it. All right, you need to be healed, definitely. Gale horse. You know, as much as I want to say, hey, there's probably not a gen here, I, I really am not sure. For the amount of gen we've already got, it's insane. I guess that's the other thing, is it you are start and there is a total of uh, seven, either 70 or 80 something gen in the game. I, it, it's the same amount that's in Golden Sun too. I forget what the actual maximum number was. Um... Trying to do quick math in my head. Um, it's 72. So, I mean, it's stand to reason that we might run into quite a few gen. Well, these are the Compa Ruins. I don't think that there's really much that we can do on the outside, except get that treasure chest. Spider web. Well, that was a waste of a turn for it because it didn't affect me. Matthew got him a Oh, I can't do that yet. Well, hold on. I don't think I can, but I don't remember.
Uh, yeah. We're gonna need the guy we get in here to actually do the next part. Um, yeah, I think a lot of this is closed off pretty much because we don't have access to certain synergy at the moment. We can explore a little bit. Oh, we got some zombies. Uh, do you quake? Do a plasma? Uh, let's show off volcano. Why not? Pretty powerful one target uh, synergy, so uh, Tyrell's gonna get a lot of the the upgraded versions of the. It is gonna get the upgraded versions of it, so. All right, Kara's got a level up, and she's also hurting real bad, so we're gonna have to take care of that. Typically, I save items like this for outside of combat because you're not wasting our turn to use it so when the orb moves into place the power of earth shall be released revealing the way forward can we move yes we can And because we do that. There we go. Several things start to light up here. And once we press this button... The door opens. Well, all the doors open. Because essentially what this is, is, oh, you are an Earth user. Please proceed. It's kind of like a little bit more of that. Alright. we got a little bit more time before the end of the episode, so we'll kind of just continue onward. Well, good that you mastered the battle lines, Tyrell. Zombies down. Tyrell gets a level. Tyrell is going to be a little bit behind as far as... Uh, uh, levels are concerned. So... Well... We want to move the statues onto these uh, points, and this will cause more uh, pathways to open for us. And if you notice, this is very reminiscent of the Soul Sanctum from the first game, uh, when you're collecting the stars. I. I guess they're trying to do a callback to it. I'm not entirely sure. But that's what it it, it does. It kind of makes that f notion of that's kind of how it feels. Oh, of course. Of course they make it to where it move is just not having a big enough range to actually do that. I was trying to be a little bit smart, but I didn't like that. Now, if we wanted, we could go to the Synergy Crystal, but we are completely fine. We don't need it 
So we can leave it there. Press this button, and that pulls up, which is nice. Press this one as well. And what we're going to have to do is uh, push this down. I know I've kind of somewhat skipped some of this because it's like, hey, this makes no sense as to why we're doing this. Well, once we drop this down, we need to finish that little puzzle there. And that was just one of the pieces for it. Come over here, step on this. And there we go. Our stairs upward. And here we go. We have the Jupiter area to go through. When the orb feels the breeze, the power of wind shall be released, leaving a trail of blossoms. Well, we just need to walk up here, cast Whirlwind. And so those start to spin, creating passageways. But as you can see, well, they're not really doing anything at the moment. Well, that's because we need to actually cast Whirlwind. All we need is just these areas to get across. We don't need to worry about any of the rest of it. But, as you can see, ooh, well, we have some possible, uh, I don't know how long these stay up, so hopefully they'll stay up long enough that I can actually... get everything. We'll see. Alright, there's an elven shirt. I uh, believe that only goes on... Oh no, he can have it. 22! Oh my goodness. <laughs> so, agility is times one and a half, and it has 22 defense. Uh, we can give it to her, and she has 94. We can give it to Tyrell, he'll have 46, which is actually not bad for him. Uh, her defense goes up to a decent level, though. Um, we don't need her to be faster, honestly. That's the thing, though. We don't need her to be faster. <laughs> we'll find better armor for her. It, yep, that's what I figured. Alright, so... Oh, come on. There we go. Move it to the right here. <laughs> you know what? I am going to end up using all my synergy if I don't do this efficiently. Um, I completely didn't. I need to do that. There we go. There we go. I'm glad I like realized, hey, I might need to move the, the, the pillar to the side. Otherwise, I'm going to have a problem here. Um, no, we just 
just need to do this. Move that there, and we're good. Stand on this little pedestal here. Allows us to easily move up and down. And thankfully that's a quick way to get down. And we don't have to worry about it. But, as you can see here, we just need to push that little part of the uh, puzzle down. And this is on it this is like our first proper dungeon. So you get to see more or less how the puzzles work in these games. Uh if you're just joining the series. Um but they they pretty much are they have monsters in it. So you'll have to deal with that, but uh you'll also have to use your synergy to f kind of fix puzzles and well not fix solve puzzles and it'll allow you to continue onward but come on there we go and thankfully they don't make you go through a whole nother puzzle bit uh, they don't really have, and I think it's partially because currently there's not a lot of the puzzle solving fire synergy used. Um, that, that you can, well, the puzzle, like fire puzzle solving synergy, uh, there's not a lot of that currently, so they kind of just let you do it. The tablet here reveals a higher truth. To decipher the ancient glyphs, fit four petals of wisdom into their places. And as you can see, once you have it in the right spot, it just clicks and falls into place. Actually, let's let's read the well. We try to read this, but we can't. There are strange glyphs written on this tablet. They seem important, but you can't understand them. So, we'll have to remember this for later. Once the glyphs have been solved... You start to see the ground crack a little bit. If you wish to awaken the guardian of the glyphs from her slumber, climb to the top of her lap, then wait upon her hands. If it wasn't obvious enough of where you should go next. <laughs> All right. Well, we go ahead and we'll, we'll head that way. Little ones, I have waited your arrival. I hold the key to the ancient secrets and now desire to give it to you. Do you wish to possess these ancient secrets? Yes. Very well. You who are willing and worthy, I bestow upon you the lost words of my kind. Alright. She hands us a book. But there's more to it. Matthew can now read the ancient glyphs on tablets. 
Matthew gave the glyph book to Karis. And of course, it's like, hey, now you can read it, go read. All right. Um, I mean, I think it's kind of obvious that it should be given to him at this point. Uh, so we'll, we'll exchange it for the two nuts. Hey, this tablet has strange writing on it. Th hey, these are ancient glyphs, aren't they? Yes, now that you have that book, I bet you can read the glyphs, Matthew. Yeah, take a look at them, Matthew. Yeah, let's look at them now. When the four statues point to the center, they will send the flower skyward. All right. Oh, they have to point to the center. It's pretty simple. Just pushing them to uh, the corresponding little dot there. It's... Again, this is the first dungeon. They're not going to do anything super complicated. Eventually, uh, the puzzles will get... A lot more complicated but this is the first one so they're easing you into it and it becomes an elevator I forget which way is the one you want to go first. I think it's this one. Uh, that's for grip. I think we're... Ooh. Well, <laughs> speaking of Jen... Um, the gate is locked. Well, with this, we have a grip crystal. Uh, the grip crystal can only be used by Earth Adepts. Equip it to gain the grip synergy. Those who take this relic must prove their worth by escaping this room using its power. And... So the room completely changes uh, that we have to actually get out using grip. So again, oh well, Karis is going to give it to Matthew. Yes, he has reached his limit. Uh, we'll take antidotes for that and we'll have him equip it. Uh, synergy wise, we're gonna have Matthew use his abilities here to essentially grab the uh, little item here. But it can also be used to grab some items that we find. So we got the stone key. And guess where it goes? If it wasn't obvious enough. But yeah. More puzzle-solving synergy. Not all synergy is combat-related. The grip power can pull you across gaps, latch onto the point, eh, onto a point to bridge the distance. The grip power can grab light objects and bring them to you. Well, we already realized that, but hey. Uh, Karis has the key, so we'll use the key to open. And there we go. 
this is synergy you're gonna need, so keep that in mind. Not only that, it's gonna be used to get across this gap here. And well, that Jen's not too thrilled about that. Um... I know that can be used. Eh, we'll, we'll do it after we try to gram. Well, he's not, he not happy. Well, we did make him mad, so <laughs> I'm not surprised, but here we go. Uh, we have Flint that can attack, so we'll do that. We'll have Karis uh, use Plasma. We'll have Tyrell use Volcano here. But Jupiter is weak against Venus, so we want to make sure we use those abilities there. But... Uh, we do want to be careful not to overdo it with uh, our abilities. That, uh. Well, I, I overdo it. We want to be somewhat cautious about this. Uh, Ramses, we're gonna have Tyrell summon because by that point, we would have used both. Alright. He's gonna cast Ray. Dealing AoE damage, yay. But here, have a Ramses. Can you deal with it? Giant punch to the face. There we go. We won. <laughs> All right, we got Jolt. This lightning spirit first encountered at the Compa Ruins, Jolt generates a shock that can bring an unconscious ally around again. So he is a reviving Jin, which until we get reviving Synergy, he's going to be one of our only ways of bringing people back from Incap. So that's going to be very important. Uh, we're definitely going to have... Uh, Karis hang on to him. Uh, she's gonna be definitely holding on to Jilt for quite a while. Uh, I forget what I, I forget the point of that then. I don't know why that's there. Alright. I thought there might have been an extra area I could go to, but nope. I know it was out in the middle of nowhere, but I just wanted to make sure. All right. We have a gel. And we head out this way, which kind of leads us in the same direction. Uh, but I want to actually go in here because I want to see if there's anything special that we missed. Yes, there is. And... When the heat of, well, the heat, the heart of flame burns, the power of fire shall be released, weakening that which blocks your way. All right, well, that'll be it for this episode. We'll continue this dungeon in the next one. So, uh, yeah, we're not going to finish every dungeon in one go, but especially going forward. Uh... So, yeah, 18 of 83 and a lot of those, oh no.
Why did I do that? I almost make myself panic every single time that happens. Uh, as you can see, there is the five here, as well as the Mars that we got from the very beginning. Uh, so those were the nine extra that we, well, no, not nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eleven, yeah. So, I, yeah, it's 72 Jin in total that we're going to have. But, good thing is, if you do, a, uh, you can actually see if you've gotten them in order yet. It, because if there is a gap between Jin, like, let's say we get the third Mercury Jin, we'll know that we missed one and we can actually go back and get it. For the most part. <laughs> For the most part. Because there is a point, and someone pointed out in the comments in the last one, uh, there are Jin in this game that are missable. Uh, we haven't reached that point yet to where they will be, but I will touch on it when we get close to when... Uh, hey, this is a point where you actually want to go and get the Jin if you haven't gotten them yet. Uh, but I will bring that up when that time comes around. But it's not currently the case. But anyway, thank you for watching. And in the next one, we will continue this madness. It's fine. This dungeon's fine. Oh, the madness comes later. See you guys then. Later.